some really small stuff here. Marhaba. Zadravo and Godag. Hey, it's Tom Mills from Green Shorts DIY. And I wanted to do a quick live stream today for four reasons. For one, I just passed the 70,000 subscriber mark and that just blows my mind. And I also wanted to thank my latest patron, Ross. Ross, thanks for joining. You'll get your official welcome and your name placement in my next edited video. Can't do that in a live stream. And you've got access to the growing library of shorts over on Patreon. So short videos that I'm talking about what's going on in my backyard. And uh, so those are available over there. And if, if you're, the rest of you are curious about what that means, then I've actually got a couple of short videos that are available for free. You don't have to, to join to watch them just so you can see what I'm trying to do over there with some of these day-to-day -day sort of backyard short uh, videos about what I'm doing in my backyard laboratory ecosystem. light this thing up. my West African teapot and I actually posted the photo of the merchant that I traded my shoes with to get this teapot. The, I really wanted one of these. They were sort of classic to the country I was in on a video assignment and uh, but the market I was at, the outdoor market, had none of these left. So I, I saw his, he was actually making some tea and I said will you sell me your pot? And he said, I will trade you for your shoes. So I was like, okay, deal. So he was happy. I posted his photo um, and you can see he was happy with the trade and I was happy too. I love the fact that this teapot comes with a story as well, not just a brand new one, but one that has some miles on it. I'm using the, the new part 
for the, the large Rocket King, which is the, the tab. So the pot tab allows a smaller pot to be used on the stove. At the, this teapot would be the perfect size to go on the micro. But I wanted to try it on the, the full size Rocket King today. Actually, you slide this to the, the back. That's where most of the fire is. A little tricky with that rounded bottom, but I think it's going to be all right. I also wanted to thank you for all of the great comments and suggestions and ideas that are coming in the comment section and the constructive criticism as well. I think to me YouTube is a two-way street. I make videos but I know I'm not right about everything and I'm still teachable. I still want to learn here so keep those comments coming and ideas. I really appreciate it. So when they cook with these teapots uh, in West Africa, they actually use coals. <laughs> so I'm using fire, which is a little bit different. They also boil the heck out of this tea. I watched them do it and it was like they boiled it for about 10 minutes in the pot. That's the steeping process. Let's see if we're boiling yet. Not yet. Leave that open so we can monitor.
The second thing I wanted to quickly mention was next week's video. Which right now is just a stack of logs. Actually in a couple days I'm going to be adding this mushroom spore to those oak logs that were freshly cut. Got this from Fungi Perfecti. These are shiitake inoculated dowels that will drill holes and, and plug in to those logs to grow mushrooms. So stay tuned next week for that video. In addition to the spore, I got some sealing wax. You basically cover up the spore and the ends of the logs with that. So it's a pretty interesting process. We'll be doing a DIY video on that next week. Not ready yet, it's boiling. Got Trevor on camera today. Hello. I'm gonna cover this up, it's boiling. This is how they did it in Africa too. They just boil it. It's coming out. Uh, I may have used a little too much water. But if you're from Africa, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Other than using fire instead of coals, which would be a more constant heat. The reason I'm using the big Rocket King today instead of the micro, which would be a better use for this pot, is that I want to tell you about a special thing I'm doing 
and that is every Rocket King that's shipping full size is going to have a mask with it. So the the friend of mine who who is the seamstress who makes the bags for the stoves is also making masks for me. So that was something she was doing uh, to give away to her friends, um, medical professionals, and I said, hey, why don't you make some for me? We'll put them in with the stove. So uh, for the near future, uh, the large Rocket King stove is going to come with a free mask. So here's a quick clip of Becky uh, making some masks. Do the same on the other side. They're not really hard to make. They just um, have a few steps. Like some people just pleat the mask um, kind of by eyeballing it. I um, like to mark the places where you're supposed to fold the fabric so that it's nice and even. There's some marks there and they stretch out nicely over your face to cover your nose and your mouth. So you put it on and then you kind of pull it around your chin, is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what the pleats are for? Right. So I think this tea is done, and I'm hopeful that it's done because I'm out of firewood. And so it, in just a second, I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea, but first let me say that it, as always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And a rocket stove is green because you use found fuel. Of course, when you do things yourself, you can also save a little green. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share. Keep all the great comments coming, and we'll see you here for a new Green Shorts DIY video next Friday. They also take their tea with a lot of sugar. Yeah, that ought to be enough. That's going to be sweet. Thanks for watching.